Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nancy. I am your nutritionist. So today we are going to discuss five facts about fat loss. I bet you didn't know. Fat loss is something we all want to do, but mostly confuse fat loss with weight loss. So the number one fact about fat loss is they are not same. So weight is basically the weight of your entire body. It includes your skin, your total fat, your muscles, your organs, uh, water, food, everything that is inside your body is included in the weight of your body. So weight of your body also includes total amount of fat on your body. So the first fact is fat loss and weight loss are not same. So if you are losing weight, you could be losing water weight. You could be eating less and seeing the scale go down, which is not, which doesn't mean that you have lost fat on your body. So fat loss will only happen from the fat reserves on your body. So the fat one is both of them are not same. Fat loss can be accompanied by weight loss, but weight loss may not be accompanied by fat loss all the time. If someone tells you that they have lost weight, it could be uh, muscle loss, it could be water weight in their body, it could be that they are eating less carbs, so they have less water in their body because carbs hold water in our body. So do not confuse both these terms. Of course, fat loss and weight loss will go hand in hand because if you're doing fat loss, fat also has weight on your body. If you lose fat, you will also see weight loss on the scale. Which brings me to my second point. Fat loss may or may not bring weight loss. It is very common to see that people when they start dieting, they start eating less. So eating less is of course required to lose weight, but you have to eat smartly though so that you are eating enough to see the results on the scale and to stay full so that you can consistently keep losing fat now when you lose fat and you eat uh, good food uh, there are chances and if you are somebody who's doing it for the first time there are chances that you may be able to change uh, your body composition which means you may be losing fat and gaining muscle at the same time. So your weight may stay constant or it will decrease a little bit, but there will be a huge change in how you look, Your uh, you will start getting compliments from everyone that you have lost weight, you have lost weight, when in reality you have lost size and you have lost inches. You must have seen a lot of people say, oh no, my weight is same, I have not lost weight. Well, that is the case wherein the body decomposition has happened. You know, they have not lost a lot of weight, so that they don't see it on the scale. But it is quite visible in how they look and how their clothes fit. So the third fact about fat loss is fat loss is uh, dependent on protein intake. Yes. So your body has fat as an energy reserve. And then it also has muscles and organs which are, you know, made from protein. So protein, when you eat from food, is the only macronutrient that has nitrogen compound and you need nitrogen to build uh, amino acids and amino acids are food, fuel for, uh, you know, building blocks of uh, protein in your body and muscles in your body. So if you are not eating enough protein, your body will not have enough nitrogen to repair the tissues that you break while exercising or uh, daily wear and tear. And when your body is not having enough fuel to sustain the muscles that you have, then it will choose to leave the muscles or use the muscles for energy rather than fat when you're trying to eat less. So if you want your body to retain muscles, you will have to have uh, enough protein in your diet so that from your side, you're giving enough fuel to the body to sustain the muscle mass that you already have. Which, brings, which also brings me to the fourth point, which is interlinked, that fat loss is also dependent on protein and strength training. Now, why strength training? So when you start eating less, your body understands it very quickly because it has to use energy from the fat or energy reserves that it has. So if you are doing strength training and if you're utilizing the muscles, you are giving a signal to your body that you require these muscles to live. 
and it also gives a signal to the body and it also tells the body that it should not be using muscles for energy rather it should be choosing to use the fat mass that is available as an energy resource because you are in a caloric deficit to provide for the caloric deficit that you have created we have to make sure that the body is using fat mass not muscle mass so strength training and protein combined with a good diet is going to help you lose fat mass not muscle mass in the long run and and studies have also uh, proven that when you combine uh, caloric deficit with strength training and with optimal amount of protein for your body you are able to get much better fat loss and greater body composition then when you don't eat enough protein and do not use strength training as a form of exercise now coming to the last fact about fat loss is that fat loss is always visible on your body whereas weight loss may not be visible because when you lose fat people are going to notice people are going to tell you that you're looking thin people are going to tell you oh have you lost weight but there are many times when we lose like 3 4 kg on the scale but nobody notices our clothes fit just the same so it is essential to understand that whenever you are going to lose fat because fat because muscle is denser than fat when you lose fat you are losing a lot of volume from your body so it is definitely going to show to other people it is going to show very quickly in fact and much faster than fat loss or weight loss um so whenever you are going to lose fat the compliments are going to start flowing in very very quickly and you will also see how your body looks uh, how your clothes fit differently how you are feeling nicer in what you are doing you are going to feel leaner you are going to see your muscle more clearer so these all things are going to come to you when you start doing fat loss so these five points are some of the facts that you should learn that fat loss is different from weight loss and whenever you start dieting whenever you start to lose weight um, you have to target fat loss and not just weight loss because a lot of my clients will come to me and tell me that they are not losing weight the scale is not moving of course it is something which is very demotivating it is something that you know puts you um, it is something that disappoints you and really takes off the charm of dieting but in the long run weight loss is not something that you are looking for nobody is going to pick you up and see how much you weigh everybody is going to see you from their eyes visually and they're going to just compliment you on how you look nobody wants to know your weight you just have to see yourself as how you look in the mirror so your main aim should always be fat loss and not weight loss so i hope this video makes sense to you and i have clarified some of the points that uh, will help you decide whether you want weight loss for your body or fat loss for your body so if you like this video do not forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have friends who are looking for weight loss uh, you better send this video to them so that they can also understand what they actually want uh, for their body and they should also understand the difference between fat loss and weight loss so thank you so much for watching and until next time bye bye